Ladies and gentlemen, I must address the recent departure of Tucker Carlson from Fox News. Now you know a chap is truly eccentric when even Fox News can't quite keep up with him. It's like sending a werewolf to a dog show. You can't quite tell whether he's going to win best in show or just eat the competition and the judges. You see, Tucker was doing something different and darker than most Fox hosts. He was like the mischievous cousin who shows up to a family dinner in leather pants, spouting conspiracy theories and telling you he's secretly related to the Queen. Tucker Carlson managed to turn the average conservative into an anti-elite popcorn enthusiast, waiting for the next great revelation to be uncovered on his show. He was like a political archaeologist, digging up the most bizarre artifacts and presenting them as if they're the holy grail of truth. His show was like watching a mashup of The X-Files and Downton Abbey. You couldn't quite tell if it was all a grand conspiracy or just a tale of the upper class gone mad. But let's be honest, we all secretly enjoyed the madness. Now, with Tucker's departure, one can't help but wonder, who will step up to fill the void of conspiracy crafting and bow-tie-wearing bravado? Perhaps it's time for me, Roan Wolliver, to make my American television debut. I assume it works in the same in America as it does in England, via a line of succession. And I've got to be the next most disliked news host in line. So, as we bid adieu to Tucker Carlson and his uniquely dark brand of news, we must remember that the world is a stage, and every now and then we need a character to remind us what happens if we take ourselves too seriously.